Hi, everyone. Happy Thursday. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with our last break of the night, 2022 Topps Chrome Baseball. Ben Baller edition, 12-box, pick your team, number one. All-card ship. Yeah, the Ben Baller edition. There was, uh, I think it was uh, 2021 was its debut. Looks like it went well. It is the most iced out collection in the hobby, that is for sure. What are we keeping out for? Iron out for rare and icy Ben Baller Chrome autographs featuring top stars and rookies from throughout the league. Love to see it. There's the case right there. Thanks everybody for making this happen. Here it is. And I think Jason still has some personal boxes available as well. If you want to get in on that. I think the checklist is pretty much is pretty much the uh, 2022 Topps Chrome Baseball checklist. But you just get a little extra, a little extra flair for the Ben Baller card. I don't know if an autograph is guaranteed per box in this. I think this might mostly be a parallel hunt. The entire 2020 Ben Baller Edition Chrome base set. Look for all new blinged out versions of the 87 Chrome inserts as well as exclusive Ben Baller diamond die cuts and right and low inserts. Some of you may not be familiar with Ben Baller. I'll be honest with you, I'm not too... I'm not too familiar with him either, but according to this internet research here, who is Ben Baller? It's the jewelry designer supplying everyone in hip hop. Ben Baller is a Korean American, like me, I knew that, that I knew, best known as a music producer and jewelry designer. He is the founder of If & Co, a company known for their specialty diamond encrusted jewelry. But how did Ben Baller go from working as a music producer for Dr. Dre to one of the biggest names in the jewelry business? Yeah, I think he does pod. He must do podcasts as well. Uh, he's 49 years old, born in the late 70s in LA, here in California. Six foot, tall for a Korean guy. Music producer, DJ, jewelry designer, actor, entrepreneur, net worth, according to this website, dmarge.com. $100 million. Began his career as a music producer for Dr. Dre before venturing into the jewelry business. Supply some of the biggest names in hip hop, including Drake, Snoop Dogg, Kanye West. I know those guys. Ben Baller attended Beverly Hills High and, uh, and Berkeley. He eventually graduated from San Diego State University with a BFA in cinematography. Played high school football too. One of the first Asians to play both sports, football and basketball at the NCAA level. Ah, this is the original origin of the baller nickname. There you have it. Apparently he got his start as a DJ by approaching Denzel Washington and asking for a job at his restaurant. In the early 90s, he met Dr. Dre, who helped him get a job at Priority Records record label. Worked his way up to VP of A&R. One of the individuals involved in signing Jay-Z to the label. I don't know how much this is revisionist history or not, but that's according to this website. He's got a shoe collection, a car collection, has a, became a jeweler. His cousin and uncle, uncle were already in the jewelry business. Ended up taking night classes in how to make jewelry and help him start his profession. That's pretty cool. In 2006, Baller made his first major jewelry piece for American singer Mariah Carey. For forty thousand dollars, so there you go. There's there's some there's some inf info there. So it's been been around been around the block for a little bit. No, Randall says now nah, the new jewelry guy all the rappers go to is some Vietnamese guy in Texas now. That's why Ben needs tops for extra money. Oh. I'm not sure if Topps is really giving him a zillion dollars. 
I think he's still doing fine with his own thing. There's a Rodolfo Castro to 10. Nice low number there for, uh, for the Pirates. That's going to go to Mark. Got the Pirates straight up. I think I like the design here this year better than last year's design. There's Julio Rodriguez. Dilo picked up uh, Julio straight up. Got a little bend on these cards right here. Just FYI, I'm sure a top loader will straighten anything like that out. It's pretty cool. We got a green Jose Ramirez to 99 and a Spencer Torkelson. That is 17 out of 50. Nice. That goes to uh, Stephen Carney in Detroit. And Delo picked up the Guardians. That's to 99. Got Wilson Contreras to 50. That's for the Cubs. That'll be for Michael P. It'll be weird seeing him in a. Cardinals uniform next year. There's Yachty to 75. It'll be weird not seeing him in baseball. That's for Kevin and the Cardinals. All right, there's your first box. Yeah, I think with his jewelry empire, music, and acting credits, apparently as of 2022, he has a net worth of $100 million. I'm sure whatever he's getting from Topps is uh, some just, just little side hustle. I don't think he's really doing this for uh, as a main source of income. I think he has a couple kids. He's got a lot of tats. He's dating a uh, Filipino-American model and swimwear designer. I think he's got some, some golf stuff going on as well. Yeah, I guess he has a podcast too, Ben Baller Podcast. A 2023 Farmers PGA Pro-Am champion. That's pretty cool. I like the golf. He likes the golf. So there you have it. He has a tweet of him uh, opening up his own boxes. <laughs> and it says, open the, the crappiest box ever. Nothing good at all. Then open the next two boxes and 12 packs in the trash. And then here comes these two in two packs. One of one Pete Alonzo. Wow. Nine out of 25 J-Rod. Nine out of 50 O'Neill Cruz Auto. That's not bad. Maybe we'll find something like that in here. A lot of golf tweets, a lot of stuff about his, uh, about the hobby. Maybe I should, maybe I should listen to Ben Baller's podcast here. He likes music. He likes the hobby. He likes sports. He likes golf. Maybe we can be friends. Maybe he's he's in L.A. Maybe he can come out. Yeah. Wait a second. I think he's here in L.A. So, tops. Maybe next year, let's, let's work on this. Maybe next year he comes by and uh, pops open a box or two.
That'd be nice. All right, we got a Bobby Witt Jr. Let's see if we can find a, uh, a parallel for him, but that's a start for the Royals. Mark, got the Royals straight up. We've got a blue Michael Brantley to 75. That's for the Astros. That's going to go to David Lemons, who got these throws in the filler. Shoei Otani to 99, and Kevin Gossman to 25. I do like the design much better this year. Gossman for the uh, for Toronto, that's going to go to Jason Kay. What am I doing here? I'm stacking regular cards on top of numbered cards. Let's split those up. Otani for the Angel, that's going to go to Tristan. You think that Julio is a short print? There are five rookie cards that are short print. You could be mistaken, though. Well, let's let's keep going. Let's find out. There's this Julio. So is that the short print, or is this the short print? This seems like the regular design, right? Or is this just a different insert? I don't know. Either way, they're all going to go to Seattle. They're all going to go to Daniel, who picked up the Mariners straight up. There's a Wander Franco for the Rays. That's going to go to Sean Maddock. That's card 222. Right. Oh, and that's that's the that's the different that's the 87 design. This is card 222. So this is a short print. Nice. All right, so there's Adam Frazier to 99. Thanks. So thanks, Kevin, for that little extra bit of research. Adam Frazier will go to D'Lo in Seattle. Yohan Mankata will go to Steve G in the White Sox to 50. Another box down, another box to go. Another box. Todd, this is kind of a good idea. Who else would you like to see do a collab with uh, 
with tops with tops with the or if you if you could have someone do a tops chrome redesign who would you like to see who would move the needle for you I guess I'm trying to think of who would be you know I guess I'm not too too into don't know enough about like the sort of streetwear street fashion kind of industry but I'll do more no more of like the sort of higher like luxury end fashion type stuff but I don't know if like it would make sense if well, although a lot of basketball players wear like Balenciaga stuff here's Tyler Glass now would Balenciaga ever do a Topps Chrome baseball set though I don't think they would I don't think the creative director will do that. There's Shane Boss, 75 for the Rays. But could we see more? I don't know who could who could do something like this. Is Christian Yelich to 75 for the Brewers? That'll be for Evan. Jose Abreu to 25. For the White Sox, that'll be for Steve G. And there's Brandon Lowe, or Brandon Lau, 3 out of 99. Nate Lowe, Brandon Lau. For the Rays, that'll be for Sean Maddock, Shohei Die Cut. Fernando Tatis Jr. die cut, that is numbered. Would it be cool to see like an athlete do their own their own version, like the Tatis Jr. edit of Topps Chrome Baseball? Maybe something like where they can I don't know. Maybe they they choose that they choose the designs. Maybe they. It's Wander Franco, or they choose the photographer they want to see in this set. I have not seen any of Kevin Nealon or Jim Carrey's paintings. But like, yeah, what if it was like those guys? That's like a random collab that I feel like Topps would do. Like, like Jim Carrey designed baseball cards, Topps Chrome cards. I don't know if Kevin Nealon re really moved the needle, but. I don't know, maybe they are working on that. It'd be, it'd be cool to see and get a little creative, even if it's just a limited run. And the Antonellis, let's see a show of hands. Who's sick of the Antonellis? The Capital One Antonellis. How, how many years have been doing this ad? Are they getting still getting royalties for these ads? How much free, how much advertising are they getting? Does someone at Capital One like have an investment in the Antonellis cheese shop? They're on, they're on commercial dozens of times a day for years. It's the same edit of the commercial as well. It's not like there's like a different version of this commercial. It's the same exact version. What's with that? Anyone else notice that it's just me? Are the Antonellis just living rent-free in my head? Is that what's happening? Is that shop even in business? I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna spend a good chunk of my weekend researching this. I'll get back to you on, on Sunday. Jason Jaspi will be here the next couple of days. All right. Another die cut, Shoei Otani to 75. Nice. 
Jack Flaherty to 75 for the Cardinals, Kevin. The Otani die cut will go to Tristan and the Angels. die cut, especially since it's numbered. Strasburg to 99. That's for Tristan and the Nets. Jackson Coart to 50. Kevin Nealon does paintings of Norm Macdonald and Chris Farley? Does he do, he's only doing former SNL cast members? <laughs> There's Otani's teammate Mike Trout. But for how long will he be Otani's teammate? Otani might walk at the end of the season. Do they dare trade Otani? They don't, right? Matt, Matt, what kind of value could you get? There's Brian Anderson to 75 for the fish. That'll be for Stephen Carney. If they do trade Otani, I'll, I assure you that they won't be sending him up the, the freeway to, to the Dodgers. Oh, he does everyone. Wait, he only does... Wait, so what's his shtick? It's paintings of other celebrities? Or does he do other stuff, too? Oh, there are caricatures? Like, like a caricature you would get at a, a county fair or, a, or an Oceanside boardwalk where an artist will uh, do a caricature of you? Interesting. I forget what show this was. I think it was famous people. Does he sell these? Um, I forgot what, I, I, I think it was a prank show and I, I generally don't like prank shows. I think they're, I don't know. I think they're kind of lame, but there was one where they, where someone got a caricature artist. It was like a hidden camera show. They got a caricature artist to do characters of just of people. And I think it was like in, in on the Jersey Boardwalk, or maybe it was here in LA, or something like that, but or a famous park or something. And, but <laughs> they instructed the caricature artist to. To was it not was it to ex, just to make them look ugly, basically? I think it was what it was. And so, like you know, usually there's just exaggerated features. Like they'll do a caricature of me, and I'll be like giant glasses or something like that, right? There's John Lester to fifty, but they would do characters, and I, maybe I hope I'm remembering this correctly. But they would just make them look like a monster or like just really ugly. Not funny, but like purposely ugly. There's Kevin with the Cardinals, and they, and, and they would like finish it. They would work hard, and they'd flip around and they'd flip it around and be like, "All right, here you go." And people would be like, "Oh, 
That's really bad. <laughs> Uh, tickled me. Brian Anderson to 99. That is for Stephen and the Marlins. Wilson Contreras to 75. When's the first Cardinals game in Chicago? Uh, that would be Wilson Contreras' uh, homecoming, I guess. There's a couple rookie die cuts that are nice. There's Spencer Torkelson for the Tigers. Stephen Carney with the Tigers. And the Bobby Wood Jr. was numbered, Mark, with the Royals. Eighty-six out of ninety-nine. Kind of look like guitar picks. Jack Flaherty, Xander Bogarts for Boston. That's to that's for Michael. You got a guitar pick right here, kind of. Maybe that was intentional. Are they called guitar pick die cuts? There's Luke Williams to 25. Use the false, Luke. Daniel with the fight and fills. Rex, you saw where the horse made them into terrible stick figures. All right. Ah. So the Cardinals will be in Chicago May 8th, 10th. What is the reception going to be there? He was a free agent, right? It's not like he was traded. He didn't have to go to the Cardinals. Will he get booed? Kershaw to 50. Luis Gill to 75. Mike Trout die cut to 50. And a Julio Rodriguez. He's, this insert's kind of cool. The Trout die cut is pretty cool too. That was to 50. That'll go for that'll go to Tristan and the Angels. Luis Gill will go to the Yankees. That's for Matt Smith.
Rex saying, I guess a Cardinals fan posted that he showed a Cubs fan friend a picture of Contreras and Cardinals just to make her cry. Contreras commented that he's gonna make he's gonna make Cubs fans cry for years. Wow. So maybe maybe no love lost there. Maybe that was a, a bad breakup. Forty out of ninety nine. Tyler McGill and Shane Bieber. Ten out of ten. You don't think there was a better shot? A better photo of Mike Trout? One of the greatest players that, of our generation? Than just catching a... Uh, catching a liner off a of bounce? In, in, in shallow right field or center field? It was Max free to 75? Like, you'd think there'd be a better picture of Mike Trout. All right, we're halfway through this full case break. We've got about another 30 minutes to go. That'll actually bring us close to the bottom of the next hour. This is our last break of the night. Thanks for joining us. Uh, is there any baseball news happening here? I guess announcer Tim McCarver passing away today. That's big baseball news. That's really it. I think people are just kind of, you know, players are, I think some players are reporting early, earlier for World Baseball Classic stuff. I think they'll be in camp for like a week or so before they, before they move on to their respective host cities, wherever they may be. I think there's some games in Japan, there's some games in Miami. Some games in Phoenix. Rangers of Grom saying the tightness inside, quote, very minor. Of course he'd say that. There we go. There's some big baseball news. Padre signed Coke Hamels to the minors? What are you implying, Rex? How dare you besmirch the name of Cole Hamels, suggesting that he may have an issue with, with the Colombian marching powder. That's a, that's a serious accusation. How dare you, Rex? How dare you? Mr. Hamels could be listening right now. Is Aaron Judge to 99? Wander Franco for the Rays, that'll be for Sean. Wander Franco die cut, nice. Spencer Torkelson to 25. That Aaron Judge green is two hundred dollars. That's what Chad Daw saying. People are asking two hundred dollars, or is, are they is this actually selling for two hundred bucks? It's a difference. I guess why is it jersey number, or just because it's Aaron Judge? Chaz McCormick to 75. 
Mike Yastrzemski to 75 for the Giants. That'll be for Andrew Webb. Topps buyback is $200? They're, they're buying those back? It's Josiah Gray to 99. Julio Rodriguez. We got a Matt Veerling to 50. Yeah, there is the in-store buyback program, but for regular Chrome, and I think it's 20 bucks. Unless there's another buyback program. I already saw this Bucks Bulls game. What else am I watching here? I guess I'm doing a baseball break, so maybe I'll flip on some MLB tonight. All right, a little hydration. Let's keep going. Beefed up bets a lot stronger heading into 2023. Apparently, Mookie Betts was uh, too light. I think how tall is he? He's not, Mookie Betts not super tall. He's like 5'8", five, 5'9", five, something like that. But he was playing at 170 pounds maybe last year, which I guess is pretty light. But the Dodgers apparently suggested that he go up to Seattle, Chad Dawes neck of the wood, to go to Driveline. I don't know, Chad, have you gone to Driveline to work on to work on your pitching mechanics or your swing? It's usually for pitchers. It's been gaining some notoriety as really helping pitchers increase spin rate and velocity and strengthen their arms and blah, 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 blah. So they got a whole program up there. It's pretty crazy. Um, but, uh, Apparently, major leaguers are buying into it. And I think in recent years, they've been so they made their bread and butter butter with pitching. But I guess in recent years, more hitters are going up there. They're doing some hitter contact right there. Chad is not, and yeah, he stands corrected. It's not for Ben Baller. So. Mookie Betts went up there. Chris Taylor for the Dodgers have been, has been going up there as well. I think some other hitters are really starting to get up there. So they, they kind of, I guess they, it's like a whole, from what, I, from what little I understand of driveline, is that it's just a lot of technology. They get a lot of data points. They film your swing, get a lot of data points, and make some recommendations. And uh, I guess one of Mookie Betts' recommendations was you got to bulk up a little bit. You got to gain some weight. There's Jack Flaherty to 50. And so I guess he did. There's Ryan Vallad to 99. And Jesse Winker to 75. Oh, yeah, you got the twins. Um, who do you want out of the twins? 24 out of 99. Corey Seager for the Rangers. That's for Steve G. Bryce Harper die cut. 
Nolan Arenado to 75 for the Cardinals. That'll be for Kevin. There it is. Boom. Chad Dodd, Joe Ryan rookie card. Ooh. Look at that. Chad getting an extra spot in the filler. And then winning the Twins, bang. Joe Ryan rookie card, base rookie. Woo, hot. Mmm. Man. Look at that, Chad. Thanks for getting in, man. I appreciate it. Can't win if you don't play, ladies and gentlemen. Chad's a player and a winner. Oh, that's not what you meant? This is Kershaw to 75. I know, I know. Let's try to find you some that uh, Royce Lewis. Any parallel? Let's try to find those guys. Here's Kalanick for Delo and the M's. Kershaw for the Dodgers. That's for Ryan. All right. Next box. Rex was asking. Here's a question of the big of the four big shortstops that signed this year. Who has the best season in their new home? So, Trey Turner went to the Phillies. Dansby went to the uh, Cubs. Correa ended up staying with the Twins after all that. And then Xander Bogarts went to the Padres. Yeah, it's got to be Xander, right? I mean, he's in... Or, or Trey Turner. I feel like... Uh, and you never know. Correa, Correa and injuries. I feel like if he's healthy, he's always doing well. But you never know. Those lower lower body injuries could start cropping up. But Trey Turner sitting on top of that that Phillies lineup with Kyle Schorber and Bryce Harper hitting behind him. And Xander Bogart once Tatis Jr. comes back. Xander might be in a, an even better lineup, especially when Tatis Jr. comes back. Although some have said that Xander Bogarts, I'll have to do a little research. Maybe someone can fact check me on this, but, but I think Xander Bogarts away from Fenway is a little bit of a lighter hitter. And uh, Petco in San Diego is actually... Uh, not quite friendly for power reasons, but Xander might just end up getting just a ton of extra base hits. Xander's first year, maybe, maybe just getting used to getting used to that park. I know Machado's homer numbers went down. I think his first year. There's Luis Gill, five out of five. Luis Gill. That's a train whistle. That's going to go to Matt Smith, who got the Yankees straight up. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. Cabrian Hayes, 4 out of 10. Nice low number there for Mark and the Pirates. <laughs> Dansby Swanson recently came to Chicago to give them their fourth ring. That's what he says. Let's see if that happens in the next seven years. I mean, that's kind of what he's supposed to say. Chad with the Diamondbacks. That's like Chris Bryant saying, yep, I I'm, I'm here. I'm here in Colorado to win ball games. 
You know, we're here to win pennants. There he is right there. There's Jorge Soler to 99. I mean, what else was he going to say? Oh, he never said that? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if he did. That's, that's what those guys say. They get, a, they get a boatload of money from a team. They're not going to be here. He's like, well... They offered a lot of money. They're never going to say that. Uh, Chad, yeah, let's try to find that train energy for the twins. Chad, what do you? Chad's a, a Mariners guy. What uh? What are? How are you feeling about the Mariners? What what are they? What were their key off season moves? Any youngsters coming up the ranks that we should be aware of? What's the feeling in Seattle? What's the expectations for the twenty twenty three season? Mariners World Series hopeful. What are the Mariners odds? Actually, let's take a look at that. I do enjoy that sort of stuff. World Series odds. According to BetMGM, they've got the Astros as the favorite at plus 650. I don't know of, as of what date, but that's about six and a half to one. Then it's the Yankees at plus 650, Dodgers plus 750, Mets plus 750, Braves 10 to 1 plus 1,000, Padres 10 to 1 plus 1,000, Phillies plus 1,400, that's 14 to 1, Blue Jays 14 to 1, they're the Mariners 16 to 1. And then it jumps up to 25 to 1 with the White Sox. 16 to 1, that's, that's not a bad number, Chad. I don't actually don't know if this is to reach the World Series or to win the World Series. I think this might be to win. And then you start getting really long shots. White Sox plus 2,500. Guardians, Cardinals, Rays all plus 2,500. Then it jumps up another tier to the Angels, 40 to 1. That's, with the, that's grouped with the Brewers and Twins. Giants, Rangers, 50 to 1. Orioles 66 to 1, Red Sox 80 to 1, Cubs 80 to 1. And then it jumps up to 100 to 1 with the Marlins, Diamondbacks, Tigers, etc., Royals, Rockies, Pirates, Reds, Angels, Athletics, Nationals, etc., etc. But 16 to 1, that's not bad. Yeah, Glock saying, don't sleep on Logan Gilbert. Not a great option. You're excited for Teoscar Fernandez. More excited for a full year of, of Kirby and Castillo. Yeah, don't sleep on Logan Gilbert. If Kalanick can figure it out, they have a decent lineup, but overall some a weak lineup with an incredible pitching staff. They've got a good bullpen too, right? I feel like I always see like some good numbers for the for the Mariners bullpen. All right, three boxes to go. Good luck. Wander Franco to 50. The old late 80 design. And parallel. There's Jose Siri for the Strohs. That's for David Lemons to 75. There's Wander for the Rays. Sean Maddock. Bobby Wood Jr. die cut. And a Shohei Otani autograph. 
Ah, oh, that's a surprise. <laughs> Tristan bought the Angels straight up. Wow. 50 out of 50. If they let him steal, he could have a 50-50 season, but since he, he, you don't want to get him injured and he also pitches, I don't think it's going to happen. But if he ever, if he ever goes full-time hitting. There's Aaron Ashby to 99. That's for the Brewers. That's for Evan P. Michael Brantley for the Astros. That goes to David. And the autographs are, oops, sorry, Jose Siri. 40 out of 50 Jose Siri for David and the Astros. Yeah, as, as, as you can see, autographs are not common in this. They're not guaranteed a box. So to find an auto in general is nice. To find an Otani is even nicer. To find a numbered Otani autograph, even better. That's something we could we could maybe tweet to uh, to Ben. Maybe Ben Baller would like that. All right, second to last box. All right, so we got a looking at Seattle again. They got Robbie Ray, Luis Castillo, Logan Gilbert, Marco Gonzalez, George Kirby. This is the MLB.com depth chart. And I'm sure there's maybe some others, maybe a fifth starter for some extra days or days off or if they play a lot of games in a row. They got a pretty solid bullpen, right? Taylor Williams, Paul Sewell, Diego Castilla, Flexen, Munoz, Matt Brash, et cetera, et cetera. I like Cal Raleigh. I had him on my fantasy team, my fantasy baseball team a lot last year. Uh, and he delivered some pop from the catcher's spot. You gotta like that. Yeah, maybe get rid of Marco Gonzalez. Yeah, he's a, you don't like him at the back of the rotation. You'd rather see Brash or Flexen in there. That might happen. Ty France, I think, was leading the league in RBIs for a good chunk of the season. So he's getting a lot of opportunities. So then who else? That's on the other corner, what, Eugenio Suarez maybe? That's who the MLB.com has. Colton Wong at second base. That's pretty solid. Tommy Listella playing a utility sort of role. Do we like J.P. Crawford? J.P. Crawford's there. You guys got A.J. Pollock. And then, yeah, Jared Kalanick needs to, needs to show what he can do. I think Taylor Trammell... There's a recent injury report on him I thought I saw. These are some outfielders. Obviously, Julio Rodriguez is going to be the mainstay in center field and Teoscar Fernandez. They also list Eugenio Suarez as DH. All right, interesting. Oh, was Trammell traded? Maybe this is an outdated MLB.com death chart. Well, yeah, I mean, if offense does become that much of an issue, Chad, then, then yeah, you know, there could be some trades in mid-season. Mookie Betts die cut, the, the bigger Mookie Betts. Aaron Judge, 91 out of 99, die cut for Matt Smith and the Yankees. Oh, Chad saying Trammell wasn't traded. When did that happen? Now, when did that happen?
There's another Wander Franco. Yeah, no, Taylor Schmell still with the uh, is still with the still with the Mariners. Fourteen out of fifteen, Josh Lowe. But yeah, I think he's injured. Yeah, he's injured. Yeah, he's out for like almost six, seven weeks. So that's a little bit of a... But if the pitching is that good, you know, maybe you don't have to worry about the offense as long as you have Julio Rodriguez in the middle of that lineup. Get some clutch hits here and there. Bam, that's all you really need. Stuart Fairchild for Chad Cromwell to 99. George Springer to 75. That Otani is numbered. The other one, the other one was not. There's Shane Boz to 50 for the Rays. That'll be for Sean Maddock. The Otani goes to Tristan and the Angels. That's to 25. That's the ride and low insert. George Springer for the Blue Jays. Jason K. I think Tejasker Hernandez in the middle of that. You know, wherever he's going to bat in that lineup, I think he, he's a he's a pretty solid addition. Yeah, twins. We got to find some twins. Final box. If you have not gotten a hit like Chad Da, you need a parallel. I mean, obviously, autographs for you. Basically, parallels is what you're what you're looking for. If we can find someone like that. That'd be pretty nice. Thanks everybody for getting in. We've got another case of this in the store. If you want to pick your team, no filler yet. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Get your team straight up before someone else does. Some of these packs are difficult to open. Remember, folks, we don't stream 24 hours a day, but the website is open 24 hours a day. Now, believe it or not, it's a hard, sometimes it's a hard time convincing people this, but I assure you, the momentum is a big part of filling group breaks. That's the unique challenge about group breaks. It's trying to get the group involved in filling and working together. Now, if people buy spots overnight, especially we shut down the stream usually around 11 o'clock Pacific. We're about 20 minutes over, maybe about 30, 40 minutes over. But usually, um, usually we end around 11 o'clock Pacific. Now, by the time 3 a.m. Pacific hops on, hops on, that's East Coasters waking up, checking the website. Now, if they see some spots move overnight from the last they check the website, then they wake up and see spots have moved, they're more inclined, they're more likely to put some orders in. And we see the East Coast, we see the numbers. We see a lot of East Coasters visiting the website and then placing orders at 6 a.m. our time, at 3, or at 3 a.m. our time, which is 6 a.m. their time. So we do see that happening. Then the East Coasters will follow, or, ooh, nice four out of five to Tease Jr. Uh, then the, West Coasters will wake up. They'll see the East Coasters putting in work. Momentum. That's right, Chad. We do not turn off the website. Some people think just because we're not streaming, that means they can't buy spots. That's not true. Four out of five. Fernando Tatis Jr. Steve Locke and the Padres. Steve, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, we do not turn off the website. Just because we're off air doesn't mean you can't buy spots. You can definitely buy spots anytime. In fact, we would encourage that. There's Carlos Correa Astros, David. There's Nico Horner, Cubs. That's for Michael P. Edward Cabrera to 75. That's for the fish, Stephen Carney. Got a Hunter Green die cut. And I better find some twins or else I'm gonna get the stink eye from Chad Daw. Mitch Hanniger to 25. No, that's for Seattle. That's gonna to go to Daniel. George Springer to 99 goes to Jason K. 
Is this a game changer, Chad? Yeah, 24 hours a day. Website's open, jazpiececasebreaks.com. And stink eye from Chad Dobb. Thanks for trying, though, Chad. At least you got that through through the filler with the extra spot that you got. Stink eye incoming. But I appreciate you trying, Chad, and appreciate everybody trying. For those of you who hit, congrats. Here's a quick little recap. The four out of five Tatis Jr. die cut. Those die cuts look really sharp. The Otani to 75. Got some Wanders. Got some that Luis Gill was out of five. That was cool. Some train whistles. Some of the top tier rookies. And of course, we got that Otani autograph to 50. And that went to Tristan and the Angels. There you go, gang. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for breaking with us. Um, this is my Friday. Had a great week, so thank you very much, everybody. Join Jason for the next two nights, and I'll be back with you on Sunday. jazbeescasebreaks.com. Bye-bye.